if you are serious about overcoming your neck pain. I want to share something very important, so I want you to watch this video and listen to my words very carefully. And also want you to feel a difference in your body by the end of this video. Our culture trains us to disconnect us from our bodies and trains us to think and view our body in parts and isolate them. So your doctor or therapist tells you what's wrong with your neck with a specific diagnosis such as cervical stenosis, disc herniation, cervical radiculopathy, or something else. So you believe that you have problem or problems with your neck and you need to do something to your neck. But the truth is, your body parts function as one integrated system because they are all connected. And your neck is part of the interconnected whole. So you really can't improve your neck until your thinking around your body changes. And then until you realize that what you really need to change is a relationship and then a connection between your neck and the, all of your body parts. In this video, we're going to look at the neck and the chest connection and the relationship. Chest includes your rib cage and the thoracic spine. No integration between the chest and the neck means that neck is, has to do all the work. So that's really hard on your neck. Right? Good integration means that your neck and the head are getting a good support from underneath. That is what we are after. And you are going to do a simple exercise that helps you integrate your chest with your neck. And all you need for this exercise is a two Towel, uh, two towels or blankets, and that's it. So before you actually begin the lesson, and go ahead and stand up, and stand, and have your arms hanging at your side, and check your posture as you're standing, and I'd like you to take a note and where your head is in relation to your torso, your spine, and your legs. And you feel any sense of effort around your neck. Do you feel the weight of your head as if it takes an effort to support the weight of your head right now? And turn your head slowly side to side, like so, not very far. And notice the quality of the movement, smoothness of the motion. Turning your head side to side. Then also look upward and downward. Observe the quality of the movement. And after you do the simple exercise, then you will come back to this again and so you can feel the difference. So now you can lie down on the floor. So you're gonna roll up a towel and one is going to be under uh, your shoulder blades, just at the base of the shoulder blades, or the middle to the lower part of the shoulder blades. And then another towel, uh, which I'm not going to use for myself, but you're probably going to want it, uh, is to support your neck and head. So you place it, you can fold it, and well, however uh, and how much uh, support you need, it really depends on your body, so, but I won't be using it, but I recommend that you are going to use it. And be sure that this rolled towel is not too thick. I don't want you to use the foam roller, that would be way too much. And you might just need a little bit. And once I'm going to lie down and then I'm going to guide you through a simple things. It's a very, it's not even an exercise, um, but uh, next few minutes, you're going to be lying down on this towel roll. And once you lie down on your back, please close your eyes and then just listen to my verbal guidance. So you don't get distracted with the uh, computer screen or, or, or your phone screen. So just close your eyes once you lie down. And once again, 
your shoulder blades, the mid to the lower part of the shoulder blades is going to be resting on the towel roll. And then be sure to support your head and the neck with another towel. And then bend your legs, like so. And then have your arms out to the side. You can't see it very well, but that doesn't matter because you're now closing your eyes. So have your arms out to the sides with the palms facing the ceiling. And let your weight settle down into the floor. You can feel the weight of the shoulders and just let the weight of the shoulders move down towards the direction of the floor. But without pushing your shoulders downward, it's all passive. You're not really actively pushing the shoulders back. Make sure your neck is comfortable. And make sure your abs are nice and relaxed. You're not contracting or engaging your core muscles. Let that go. So let the gravity just move your body into the floor. And the, feel the contact against the towel rolls. So the towel roll is gently pushing into your mid and upper spine to allow your chest to move forward a little bit. It's the area that you tend to keep a flexed position. But now you have the opportunity that uh, the towel roll is gently pushing your spine and moving into the direction that you don't normally move into. If the pressure is too much, you can adjust the towel roll so it's not too much. It's, it's not meant to be a forceful, uncomfortable stretching, but it's a gentle suggestion, creating an, a little bit more uh, movement into the area. So just spend a couple minutes just allowing the towel rolls to move your spine into a different place, a new place. And after a few minutes, and you can slowly roll onto your side. And then you can go ahead and come up and sit and stand up. Now that you are done with this exercise and you are standing, now you're coming back to the same reference movements and also checking with your posture. So feel your posture, any changes from the start. And notice the position of your head in relation to your torso, your spine, and your legs. Notice the changes from the start to the now. And you can turn your head side to side. As it feels easier now to turn your head side to side. Quality is improved, looking upward, and downward. Any changes from the start to now? Any changes in your breathing also? So this simple exercise, what does it do? And why does it help? Oftentimes, and we are kind of stuck and hold ourselves in this flex posture because of all the activities that we do with the phone and computer, watching the TV, things like that, reading the books. We kind of tend to, we tend to stay in the flex posture. And when we move the head, we move the head and the neck independently and not really integrate in the chest. So with this simple exercise, it helps you to integrate your chest and move your spine, move your chest under your head, right? So from here, the towel, it gently helps you to move your chest, bring it under the head so that the chest is now supporting the weight of your neck and the head, right? It's the weight of your head. So you don't really feel as much of the strain and an effort just a standing up and a supporting the weight of your head, which weighs a lot, right? So it is very important when we don't really integrate the chest with the neck 
And there's so much more work for the neck has to do. And so it is the integration is so vital. So just remember your neck is a part of your chest. And chest is a part of the neck also. That's just the one connection. But the neck is also a connection and uh, is connected to the entire body, right? Including your low back, including your hips. But for this video, I wanted to highlight the important connection between your neck and the chest. So keep that in mind as you are going through your day. And every time you feel the strain and pain, tension in your neck, think about, am I integrating the chest? Remember, just to remind yourself, chest, your chest is part of your neck. If you enjoy this video, and please support my channel by subscribing and hitting the like button. And if you want to become the best expert in your body and in how your body wants to move, and please watch my free masterclass. The link is in the description, and you can apply for my mentorship program if you want to dive deep into understanding your body. I will see you in the next video.